I, uh, I came across a video a couple days ago that the Squishy Monster had posted on YouTube on how to make perfect uh, scrambled eggs. And uh, I've gotten a bit tired of seeing videos on YouTube about people anywhere from your, your, your average Joe uh, to your uh, cooking diva wannabe to uh, people like uh, Dave Ramsey, I think his name is. Everybody's got their perfect take on perfect scrambled eggs. And it started to drive me a little bit nuts. So I decided why not join the crowd and make my own video about how to make perfect scrambled eggs. Uh, people um, do a lot of wacky things to get uh, fluffy, moist scrambled eggs. And again, it goes back to my mantra that um, the cardinal sin of cooking is applying too high of a heat for too long of a period to food, especially meat. To make really fluffy, perfect, moist scrambled eggs, uh, you take two to three eggs and crack them in a bowl. Now I'm assuming that you know how to crack eggs into a bowl, that uh, I don't have to make a video about that. You need an inch of butter, and an inch of butter is about that much. Now what really drove me nuts with uh, Squishy Monster's video was that uh, she added cream, uh, some kind of a heavy cream, to the eggs and started to beat them. Uh, listen, when you, when you want to make butter, you get heavy whipping cream and you beat it, and then you get butter. So adding heavy cream or heavy whipping cream to eggs and then beating the eggs with the cream, that's no different than adding butter. Okay, so it's sort of silly that, you know, that the trick is adding milk or adding butter or, I mean, or adding uh, whipping cream. Uh, all you have to do is use about an inch worth of unsalted butter. Okay, you got your two to three eggs, you got your salt, you've got a nonstick frying pan that what you're going to do is you're going to put salt and cover... At least I like salt. You're gonna put, you're gonna cover the bottom of the frying pan with salt, okay? And you got your inch of butter here, and you're gonna turn it on high until the butter melts. Then you're gonna lower it to medium. You're already gonna have the eggs scrambled, and then you're gonna pour them in. And all that's gonna happen under the medium heat is you're quickly gonna be stirring, constantly stirring the scrambled eggs, pulling them in from the from the outer edges, swirling around, constantly swirl, swirling and swirling and swirling until it's just about done. Then you can turn off the heat and then put the, the scrambled eggs in a, in a plate. It's that easy. I mean, I think, I think Chef Ramsay, he's got like a thing where he puts the uh, scrambled egg mixture in a metal bowl and he puts it on top of a uh, small pot. So he's sort of steaming the metal bowl and that's heating the metal bowl and that's scrambling the eggs. That is the most nonsensical way of doing it. Uh, you don't need cream. You don't need milk. You don't need water. You got your eggs. You got an inch worth of butter. You got your salt. You've got a non-stick frying pan. Uh, I'm going to turn the heat on to very high, uh, but only until the butter melts. You don't want to use very high heat on a Teflon or a non-stick pan. It'll destroy the, uh, the lining. Uh, and then I'm going to basically, I'm going to use a fork. I'm not going to use a whisk. I'm not going to use anything. I'm going to use a fork and manually blend these eggs uh, or beat them like this. These eggs will beat with a fork, believe it or not. It's that simple. I mean, how simple can this be? I'm using a fork. You don't need a whisk. You don't need any special equipment. I put three eggs. I put three eggs in the bowl. You're done. Okay. I'm waiting for the butter to melt. And I will uh, pause the camera until that happens. The butter is almost completely melted. Swirl it around. Swirl it around. It's the, it's the butter and the low heat and the constant uh, use of the spatula that, that's the trick. I mean, that's all it is. That's all it is. I'm going to lower the heat to medium now. Wait for the butter to completely melt. And I'm going to need both hands to get the uh, every little bit of egg out of the bowl. So hang in there. Okay, the, uh, the uh, egg yolk is in. This is all you do. This is all you do to get light, fluffy eggs. This is all you do. Don't be stingy on the butter. Keep the heat at a medium. You're not going to keep this on for long. But you're constantly swirling around. Constantly swirling around. This is the secret. Along with the use of just, you know, enough butter. And um, a medium heat in a non-stick pan. And you're going to get fluffy, moist, scrambled eggs. I mean, 
a lot of people don't want to do the uh, extra work. They want a, a quick secret, a quick trick. And sometimes a little bit of elbow grease is all is all you really need. There you go. Your seed's starting to finish up. This constant moving around, constant swirling, constant, you know, just moving this thing around. And look, my one hand. One hand. I'm going to turn off the heat. It's been about a minute and ten seconds since I started uh, doing this. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. Here we go. That's it. We're done. We're done. Now I'm going to use a spatula to get all this in, but uh, into the plate. But uh, there you go. There you go. Light, fluffy, like a cloud. Like a cloud. Look at that. You didn't need anything special. You needed eggs, some salt, and about an inch worth of butter, and uh, constantly swirling it around. I hope the steam doesn't get into the lens of the camera. But this is fluffy and light, like you get at a high-end restaurant. It's that easy. It's that easy. Stop with all these videos about how to make perfect scrambled eggs. You just saw it.